principle of criminal law in every civilized society has this in common. Any person who sways another to commit murder, any person who furnishes a lethal weapon for the purpose of the crime, any person who is an accessory to the crime is guilty. Yanning's record and his fate illuminate the most shattering truth that has emerged from this trial. If he and all of the other defendants had been degraded perverts, if all of the leaders of the Third Reich had been sadistic monsters and maniacs, then these events would have no more moral significance than an earthquake or any other natural catastrophe. But this trial has shown that under a national crisis, ordinary, even able and extraordinary men can delude themselves into the commission of crimes so vast and heinous that they beggar the imagination. No one who has sat through the trial can ever forget them. Men sterilized because of political belief, a mockery made of friendship and faith, the murder of children. How easily it can happen before the people of the world let it now be noted that here in our decision, this is what we stand for. Justice, truth, and the value of a single human being. No harm.